Hey guys, it's DC here and today I wanted to go over the top 10 interview questions that you get asked as a systems administrator applying for a Windows systems administrator job. Raise your arm! So in the past, I've worked as a systems admin, systems engineer, a senior systems engineer, senior systems admin, and they all sort of are very similar jobs, I guess. These are the questions that I seem to get asked in every single one of these positions. So let's get straight into it. So the first question that you always get asked is, what is a domain? So a domain is simply a centralized location for user accounts, computers, printers, and like security features and all that sort of stuff, uh, which is then also controlled by the domain controller. That's, that's sort of the simple explanation for it. And that, that will usually get you through that, that question. You can also go into a little bit more detail about, you know, different features of a domain and, you know, just the basic uh, settings that you can set up as a administrator on um, a Windows server. The next question is, what is the port number for DNS and what is it used for? So you should first off start explaining what DNS stands for, which is Domain Name System. DNS is mostly used to interpret domain names and the, the port number for DNS is 53. You can go into a little bit more um, explanation here about the DNS service on Windows Server, um, and they'll probably like some sort of examples around you know, times you've fixed or resolved issues with forwarding domains or, or stuff like that. So that's always useful to have in there. The next question that is definitely going to come up is what is AD? So AD is Active Directory, obviously. And it's essentially where all of your user accounts, computer accounts, names, everything is stored. Um, AD is also the entire piece around authentication for each users. Um, and if you can have an example of, uh, like if you set up AD with single sign-on to an exchange hybrid server, um, that would be a really good example uh, and will almost guarantee you a job as, as a system admin. AD can also be linked up to things like WSUS, which is the Windows uh, Update Service thing, um, as well as group policies and, and a whole bunch of other stuff that you will likely be asked about. But if you can expand on that through the AD question, they might not actually ask you those additional questions, which is going to shorten your interview and make things a lot easier and make you sound like you really know what you're talking about. Another question I seem to get asked uh, all the time is how do you back up AD? So there's, there's a tool in AD called um, NT backup. It comes with server 2003 upwards and um, nowadays most people use like Veeam um, or their AD is actually a virtual server in which case they don't you know do the backups through NT backup they just do a you know virtual machine backup or an SD host backup. Yeah if, if they do ask you these questions still you can just say NT backup is what I would be using. Some simple robo copy scripts to test the, the backup procedure is actually running correctly. Another question is, what is the sysfol folder used for? Sysfol is a folder, um, it's the system volume information folder, essentially, and it holds a copy of all the domain files, which is found on a domain controller. Um, all of this data is shared for the purpose of replication across uh, a domain. A lot of the time people put their startup scripts for group policies in this folder as well and so that all of the machines on the domain uh, run a script from on startup from the sysfol folder. All right, this question is a tricky one, but it does seem to come up. It's tricky for me because I always forget uh, the answers, but it is what is RAID? So RAID is a redundant array of independent disks and um, basically RAID is to provide data mirroring. So the bit that always gets me is remembering the different RAID levels and I always forget them. Um, but yeah, just have a Google of, you know, RAID zero versus one, or, you know, should I use RAID five? And just have a look at all the different levels of RAID to go into detail 
on those because RAID is used across pretty much every IT environment these days for you know data replication or redundancy testing. The next one is which CMD commands would you run to test network connectivity? Now I know this is a networking question um, but it is a very basic one that is sort of required by sysadmins to do some basic diagnosis. Oftentimes in um, smaller organizations as well you're going to have to do some networking anyway as a sysadmin so knowing this uh, would be you know, good for you to move forward anyway. So the, the answer to this is just the basic IP config and ping commands. So there's IP config slash all, just standard IP config if you want to know the details of that computer and of course ping uh, if you want to send some ICMP packets outbound to or to you know sideways to another server to see if its connectivity is there or if you can get to the internet etc. Um, it's, it's not going to be like it's not a very advanced set of commands obviously but it is something that they will likely ask you uh, during an interview or something that you should explain you know anyway um, just in case they, they sort of think of that in uh, as a side thought next question that is definitely going to come up is explain group policy group policy is a set of policies that are used to control uh, computers groups users uh, in your domain you can configure templates for each of these and often group policy becomes a massive mess and part of this sysadmin's role uh, coming into a position is uh, where you have to clean up group policy from the previous sysadmin to, to basically get everything working correctly again and make it all nice and neat. Um, oftentimes people are transitioning from like Windows 7 to 10 or 10 to whatever comes next and they have to clean up the policies to match the new operating system and you know, different file paths and all sorts of stuff in there. Second last question is what is the difference between a domain and a forest? So a domain is a logic group of computers, users and uh, just devices within Active Directory. A tree is a collection of domains and if there are multiple trees that's what a forest is. Um, you can go into more detail there about um, promoting servers and all sorts of stuff in there, but um, that's maybe more for a senior systems admin role rather than just a, a systems administrator or junior systems administrator. The last question that always gets asked in an interview is, why should we hire you? Now, this is the opportunity for you to really stand out. And I believe I've mentioned it before in other videos, but it is the STAR methodology. Um, and this is something that HR recruiters and IT management always refer back to as something as almost like a standard that they require when interviewing people. And the STAR methodology stands for situation, task, action, and remedy. So what was, it's basically like telling a story, right? So you start off with, the situation was I started this job as a sysadmin and the last sysadmin had just quit and he disappeared, left no information. That's the situation. So then my task was to first clean up group policy. That's the task. Action was to list out all of these group policies and work out what could be removed, what wasn't being used anymore, and what's duplicated through other policies. So then I started to remedy this situation by removing duplicate items in group policy, cleaning up the um, permissions of each policy, renaming ones that were no longer relevant, and moving them into an archive folder, and then reporting back on a successful group policy migration and cleanup. If you were to explain it pretty much like that, they will absolutely be creaming to employ you. And that's, that's exactly why they should hire you. Um, also, you should also say in this point, um, you know, I will be a, a great attribute to the team and I'm a team player. They love hearing about teams, trust me. And yeah, just basically really sell yourself uh, because this is the point where they're going to either give you a tick on that piece of paper or a, like a question mark, like, oh, I'm not so sure. If you can really sell yourself and, and you know, articulate exactly why they should employ you, you'll probably get a call later that afternoon or the next day. It's, it's going to lock you in 
very quickly. So as always guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope it's helpful to you all. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and join me on my Discord channel if you wanna have a chat about anything. I'll catch you later, have a good one.